welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, um, if you haven't seen the other two reviews I posted up before this one, is the last one I'm gonna apologize in, but I have been in the process of moving to our new homestead. So I have uh, had an issue with getting mail. And so I've got that all sorted out now and going to review this pocket box that I've been behind on because I've been trying to get everything sorted out. And here we go. This is for the August box that came out. Apologize in advance. I'm so slow this month on getting stuff done. Um, but nevertheless, I have wrangled back up all my mail and we've got everything back together now. So I'm gonna try to go through this all and we'll do a, a, a box dump. All right, so we'll take here the first, let's see what we've got. So the first thing we got here is the Apaka key is a metal tool that's made right here in the USA. It's designed as an everyday carry tool to help reduce contact, contact with germs in public places. Large curved hook is perfect for opening doors. The finger lock pointer can be used to punch keypads, ATM buttons, elevator buttons, and auto, or automatic door openers. And there is the key. It's the first item in that Apaka box. Now the next thing we have is a pocket field guide, Secrets of the Figure Four Deadfall. Here is the deadfall trap. This says, this pocket guide is authored by longtime survival instructor and woodsman Jamie Burley. It's one of the best discussions of the Figure Four Deadfall trap that I've ever seen. Figure Four is one of the most iconic survival traps of all time. The knowledge to properly make one can keep you fed and nourished in almost any survival environment. The instructions in this manual are based on proven field experience, which is evident by the detailed photos and included tips. Even if, um, even if you've carved a figure four before, you will learn something new with this instruction, Secrets of the Figure Four Deadfall. And right there, guys, if you wanna pick this book up is the ISBN number at Dropstone Press. And we'll take a peek through here. Very detailed. I'm a picture person. You know, you can you can write a whole manual on something, but if you can show me pictures, that's why I like graphic novels and stuff like that. You know, I've always enjoyed comic books and things because, you know, you can follow along with the pictures. All right, now next up, we've got the off-grid switch. is the perfect modern addition to any off-grid getaway or hunting camp. Powered by only two AAA batteries, you won't believe the light this switch provides. It offers multiple attachment options, including hook and loop, magnetic, screw hangers, but uh, but can just as easily be used on the go as well. So here's the 3M stickies, magnets. The Velcro on that comes off too, so you can magnetic tap that. Woo! <laughs> that is bright. That is a, some big LED strips there, guys. That's very cool. You can stash that out in the woods or something too in your hunting area, zip it to the tree. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, input area right there. You could put, if you've got one of those little uh, rechargeable panels that will charge up uh, your triple and double A's and you've got the rechargeable batteries, you could actually use this thing over and over. So, very cool. Next up, we've got Apaka Wax, a proprietary blend of natural beeswax and paraffin with countless field applications, including waxing and waterproofing fabrics, treating and waterproofing leather boots, waxing traps, fire lighting, and more. This is a perfect addition to the at-home gear maintenance kit and also small enough to take on the trail if desired. Learn how to wax your own canvas using the included ground pad at this video link. And here is the Apaka Box multifunction, or I'm sorry, Apaka Wax multifunction waxing bar. That's quite a bit of wax too, guys. That's she thick right there. All right, next up we've got the Apaka Box ground pad. Uh, it says, watch this video above to learn how to use your bar of Apaka wax to turn this 100% cotton canvas square into a durable, nearly waterproof wax canvas ground pad. Similar wax canvas ground pads sell at places like Etsy for more than $50. Um, wax canvas ground pad is perfect for gear prep, food prep, or fire prep. It protects from snow, wet ground, messy and mud. We've included a corner brass grommet for convenient hanging of the ground pad. So here is your ground pad, right there. It's got the Pocket Box logo on it. 
All right there, you can take that video that they've got, work that wax in all this, make it help make it waterproofed. So you can use that on the go and fold up. And I'm looking for the grom, and of course it'd be the corner that's turned down right there. You can hook it on, kind of like tail does on a golf bag, some of them. All right, next up, we've got the crow call kit. Talking to crows can be a ton of fun, though we don't understand exactly which, what each of their more than 20 different calls mean. Crows are very vocal birds. In this exclusive Apoca Box custom kit, you can build your own crow call to initiate a conversation with your local band of American crows, also called a murder of crows. In this private video, I teach not only how to assemble your crow caller, but also how to call two of my favorite calls. And here is the crow call kit. Let's take a look, see here. Be good for uh, signaling other members of your off group and everything too. So, oh, this is cool. Looks like a uh, back end call to a uh, duck call as well. There's the reed. Actually, let me find that. That's the only thing seems to be missing is the read unless it's in here. And I'm just, oh, yeah, yeah, it's in there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so here's your pieces. Yeah, that'll be a fun kit. It'll be something for my son to have fun with making. There you go. Yeah, the read's in it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, just mark out, put that together, and you can be calling some crows in. Stain that up to make it very nice looking too. Like I said, I think that'd be a good in uh, good way to stay in discretion um, and signal other people on your property or your prep group what's going that something's going on without yelling, "Hey, something's going on!" or hitting the radio too. Shark's tooth knife kit, also your pocket box skills challenge. If you've ever found a shark's tooth at the beach, then you already know how sharp they can be. However, here are three shark, te shark teeth facts that people know. Sharks use approximately 34,000 teeth in their lifetime. Baby sharks are born with teeth. The largest shark tooth fossil ever found was over seven inches long. Bro, that is <laughs> that is very deadly. Uh, and was from an ancient shark called a megalodon. This kit contains all the parts and pieces to make an awesome little shark tooth scalpel. Uh, see the description of the back page for details. So, look at this first. Got all sorts of small parts here falling out. All right, it's got everything. Here is the shark tooth right there. And bunches of different pieces here. The thread. Let's look at the back of this real quick here to see what we're making. Right there is what's being made. Oh, and that's to make the sheath for it and sew it together. Gotcha, gotcha. Got a small cut and tilt at that point. Many coastal peoples use shark teeth as knives, awls, and even arrow points. It's awesome. Handy little shark tooth scalpel that can be used to process wild game, wild edible plants, or even carved wood. Carved wood. Very cool. All right, and now the last item in the box this month, guys, is once again, we've teamed up with the crew over at Reptile Toolworks to create a never before seen custom knife kit. This truly unique do-it-yourself knife kit is the perfect late summer, lazy afternoon activity. After assembling personalization, this three pin folder will be a knife to last a lifetime of use in the field, farm, or garden. When you're done, there won't be another quite like it in the world. Step-by-step -step instructions included. All right, guys, let's take a look here. I like how the baggies are marked too. Careful here, open the pieces. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to just be careful opening this thing. I can obviously see it's a knife in there. I have to look this one over, but right here, three pin folder kit. Disassemble, position the sewn. Flame the handle. Pretty 
cool. So you're making a folder knife with it. Sand that down. It's a D10 pin too. Gotcha. Pop that out if I can. Just for a second to look at this. Blade on it. Yeah, it ain't gonna take much to uh, get that the rest of the way the finish line. They got that one cut pretty much to the point. So that's a pretty cool little kit to put together, guys. I mean, I'll tell you what, if you want to be crafty, this is definitely, definitely something you can make something out of. So, guys, as always, until we see you gear again at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I encourage you guys to check out a pocket box. Uh, if you're into bushcraft and prepping, uh, definitely a great box of gear all the time. Um, always unique things to make and build. And, you know, if you like to be crafty in the tool, uh, shed and build stuff, it's there to be had. So, guys, as always, do we see you here again, channel? Make sure to check out Pocket Box. And as always, I hope the most high off room can keep you. Make his face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends. In your shalom.